hello friends we will learn to draw we will learn to derive mirror formula in this video this is very very important and it's very very easy if you will watch whole video carefully so first of all if you have not seen my video for cartesian sign convention so make sure that you have seen that video first before you see this video right okay so let's start with the according to the cartesian sign convention if you have been asked derive the formula for spherical mirror in the examination now you need to show following steps in the exam now first is according to the cartesian sign convention so let me explain in short what is what is cartesian sign convention so that uh, you can <coughs> understand it better suppose this is uh, let, let me draw another this is not good one let me use the pen suppose it is my concave mirror it's my principal axis it's c it's f it's P. So, according to sign convention, Cartesian sign convention, all the measurement are at left side are considered in this direction are considered negative, upward direction positive, downward direction negative and uh, this side positive, right? So, if you know these four things, you can understand this mirror formula better. Now, let's start. So, first of all, what is object distance object distance is from p to b so this is at left side of mirror so it is pb is equal to minus u right now image distance this is my image that is p b dash and pb dash equals to minus v because it is again left side right now focal length focal length is pf and focal length is always negative for concave mirror for the concave mirror focal length is always considered as negative and for convex mirror Focal length is always considered as positive. So this is PF. PF equals to minus F and radius of curvature that's PC equals to minus capital R. So I think you have understood till now why I take all the signs negative because everything is at left side of mirror. All the according to Cartesian can sign convention, all the measurement are taken from point P. So if I calculate from point P, everything is at in opposite direction of incident ray and they are considered as negative now this diagram is just for reference right if you are writing in your notebook you you don't need to draw it again now we have to take two triangles similar triangle now what is similarity that when i will upload the mathematics chapter similarities of triangle you will understand it better as of now it has b dash p so this triangle it has b dash p and it's a b p so a b p like this a b p so these two triangles are similar now you need to make similarities from this now as of now let's not go into deep for similarities but let me tell you in short if you take these two alphabet a dash b dash then take these first two alphabet from this so according to the Similarity rule a dash b dash upon a b. I took this two alphabet first and this two alphabet as numerator, uh, sorry, denominator. Now b dash p, or you can call it pib dash b dash p upon b p, or pib dash upon pib b, right? b dash p upon b p, or you can say pib dash upon pib b. Now from where I got this information, so if you go to page number one, p b dash, this is p b dash is minus v and pb that's object distance that is minus u so this is pb dash minus v pb minus u minus minus cancelled from numerator and denominator so this is v upon u equation number one now we are considering more two triangles are similar and their triangles are a dash b dash c and a b c so let me highlight a dash b dash c and a b c so a dash b dash c is this one right a dash b dash c and ABC is this one, right? This one. Okay, so I will make the similarity in this also as I made in these two triangles. So A dash B dash upon AB, A dash B dash upon AB, B dash C, or you can call it C B dash upon C B, right? Now this is considered as equation number two. Now very very interesting you need to understand it very very carefully uh, i will take one example to explain it better let me draw a one line right right let me draw a one line right and let me name over here that c then here it's b dash and here it's p 
now if i tell you that pc is 10 cm pc is 10 cm and bid sp is 7 cm how many centimeters sip bid s it's 3 cm how you got you subtracted 7 from 10 it means you subtracted you subtracted pip bid s pipi dash from pc right you subtracted pipi dash from whole pc whole pc is 10 cm and pipi dash is uh, 7 cm so you subtracted you did pc minus pipi dash so here i will write pc minus pipi dash how i got it i think you understand i tried to explain as good as i can i draw this line from c to p and b dash and try to explain now pc equals to what so pc is minus capital r this minus is written over here and what is pp dash that's image distance minus v so this minus minus will become plus so minus r plus v right now again you need to write like this for cp as you wrote for cp dash so i will draw another line to explain it better let me draw one line over here right and <coughs> let me write over here i will write B, C and P. Now same way if I tell you whole PP or BP is 10 cm and CP, CP is 7 cm then how much is CB or you can call it BC. So I will subtract, I will subtract CP right or I, you can call it PC, I will subtract PC from pp right so i can call it pp minus pc you need to write preferably p first because according to the cartesian sign convention all the measurement are taken from p so p is origin for every measurement so you need to write p first so this is pp minus pc right so i wrote pp minus pc i think you understood how i wrote pp minus pc now pp equals to what minus u pc equals to what pc equals to minus capital r right so, so minus minus plus so minus u plus r now these two values these two values i will subtract sorry these two value i will substitute somewhere this this cp dash and cp b i will substitute over here i will substitute over here so a dash b dash upon a b equals to minus r plus v instead of cp dash and instead of cp minus u plus r now i will write the value of a dash b dash upon a b so a dash b dash upon a b equals to what a dash b dash upon a b equals to v upon u so i will write v upon u instead of uh, v upon u instead of a dash b dash upon a b right in next way so a dash b dash upon a b uh, I, I i i wrote v upon u instead of a dash b dash upon a b now this is just for reference this is just for reference I substitute V upon U, I substitute V upon U in this if you want to see. Instead of this I wrote V upon U and how I got V upon U so this is whole explained over here. Now I will do the cross multiplication minus U plus R will go here, U will go here. Now this V is with both, this V is with U as well as R. This U is with both R and V. So now it's minus u v v r minus u r u v right now v r and u r will come at left side of the equation so it will be plus u r v r plus u r u v will go at that side so u v plus u v v r plus u r u r is equal to 2 u v now i will divide whole equation by u v r so now uh, what will be cancelled in this equation so this v this v these are these are now u u r r now u u v v so now this is 1 upon u plus 1 upon v is equal to 2 upon r 1 upon u plus 1 upon v is equal to 2 upon r now if i put my object in front of convex mirror at infinity then u is equal to infinity object distance is u u is equal to infinity and v is equal to f because image will be formed at f if you want to see this you can see uh, you, you you can see this video in playlist convex mirror uh, video number two in youtube playlist right so you will find when object is at infinity in front of convex mirror image is formed at f now i substitute i substituted the value how i substituted so 
I wrote infinity instead of u. I wrote f instead of v. So I substituted these two values over here. Now 1 upon infinity is equal to 0 so I don't need to write this so 1 upon f is equal to 2 upon r now this value 1 upon f is equal to 2 upon r will be substituted over here instead of 2 upon r I will write 1 upon f and my mirror formula is derived I hope friends you find this video useful thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video